early in the morning and it's only August 4th and we're already starting to pick um, our first blocks of Pinot Noir. We're picking at uh, lower bricks, bricks of uh, 20 and 22 for um, our 2011 sparkling. Gary's here waiting <laughs> to do his job and also for uh, the rosé. Well, for the last five years, we have gotten wiped out by bees. The Pinot has, and we've lost several tons every year to bees. So this year, I don't know what happened, but they just didn't show up. So um, we experimented with um, this new netting. See, it's pretty fine. You can kind of see that's supposed is bee netting, but it looks like we didn't need it this year because this is usually the section that's totally wiped out by bees, and it's looking good. Guys, next to the Pinot is the Chardonnay. Got a little problem with powdery mildew this year, but um, probably be picking the Chardonnay in a couple of weeks. This is the Merlot. Big difference between how the Merlot looks and how the Pinot Noir looks. See that the bunches are much larger and looser. Also, it's not, you know, the bricks are much lower. It's always slower, and you can see there's still some green berries in a few of the bunches. Guys are so fast. This is the before. They're beautiful this year. No bees. From this to this. Real quick. These guys are really fast. They've only been going for maybe 20 minutes or so and this section's already done. No Pinot left. 